Did you, can I talk to you about PT? Ple- Part time work? A physical therapy. Booty tank. No. <laughs> My brother and my, my brother's wife are PTs. Physical talk about therapy. it. So I think last time I was on the pod, I talked about my arm. Did I talk about my arm? Your arm? Your elbow? So if you're all watching at home, this arm straightens this much. And this arm wasn't, it was like this, locked. Chapter 44. Locked. I went to a PT and I kind of like thought it would help. Um, he helped me so much so fast in even one session that I almost started crying and hugged him. You sh- for my arm. Did you pay him though? No. Oh. I'm just kidding. Yeah, of course. <laughs> sh- it, um, but I went to PT somebody for my TMJ because, I mean, a f- couple of weeks ago, my mouth would barely open. That's how bad it's been. Oral sex no more. Yeah. I mean, I could maybe fillet a peanut m M&M m at this point. But you're allergic to peanuts. Well, it's a w- risk I'm willing to take. <laughs> it's an sacrifice you're willing to take. <laughs> what if I talk to it's a week I'm willing to take? Chapter 45. You have that fat <laughs> nut in me. You have that fat nut in me. I want to have an allergic reaction in my lower colon, baby. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Anaphylactic shock. Uh, 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 wait. Uh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> who listens to this? Okay, mama. So people who want to die. So something happened, and I don't want to. I don't want to get kicked out of my doctor, but I want to say what happened. I feel it's like out of your well, I feel like there's a doctor-patient confidentiality. The Hippocratic oath. And I do think as patients. We should have the freedom to say what happened at our doctor's appointment, but I don't want to like overly share people's practices. We just don't don't give the name. Trade secrets. Okay, great. We're gonna call them Doctor So and So. Doctor Doctor. No, Doctor Monica DeMonico. Yes. Okay. Easy to say. So I go in there, <laughs> and you know, I'm telling him about my jaw being locked up. Wait, it's Doctor Moon. It's Doctor Moon. Okay. Perfect. Doctor Moon. So he's like, get up on the table. Super helpful. Um, works on my elbow a little bit as a, as a as a little pro am race for the cure. Like, like we weren't there to see my arm and I mentioned my arm and he did a little bit on it, which was so welcome and nice. Oh, Not that we should expect healthcare providers to put in the extra other body parts that, no, you know, no, ma'am. but it was nice. So he starts working on the jaw. He's explaining it to me. He's feeling all over my head and he's basically like, okay, your jaw is supposed to be an even hinge that goes up and down. Right. One of your sides is recessed. So the whole thing is off kilter, which is why like when you chew and talk too much, it creates problems for you. So he gave me exercise to do, but Mary, you better believe he had to put on gloves reach in my mouth with both thumbs, both thumbs in my mouth. Both of and those d- thumbs? And I'm just going to say he wasn't unattractive. <gasps> Dr. Moon was hot? He was very uh, handsome and professional and nice and helpful. So thank you, doctor. calming energy. I mean, for a doctor to put their fingers in your mouth and for you to not feel weird and embarrassed, I felt very relaxed, chill. But he goes, all right, we're going to get your jaw open today. And I was like, okay. And I kind of like didn't believe him. I'm getting hard. He goes, we're going to get your jaw opened up. Which any other context, <laughs> you know, but this is a medical environment, you know, this is a medical part, you know, I, by the way, would you have gagged if he took like an x-ray of my head and says, have you been sucking? Cock? In cock? Yeah. So he gets both thumbs, both thumbs are up inside my mouth and he goes, you can bite on my thumbs. So I put pressure on the thumbs and then he uses the, the pointy part of his thumbs to start pushing into the soft tissue, my hinge joint. And he's looking out into space because people who do body work, they almost look away from your body to like visualize your skeleton while they're uh, doing it. Mm-hmm. Massage people sometimes like look, look out into space while they do it. Yeah. And it's a little horny. Right? Uh-huh. Yeah. So, but it wasn't too horny, but I was thinking like, uh-huh. wow, this is intimate. Uh-huh. Somebody's thumbs in your mouth is intimate. Uh-huh. Not in a sex way. No. So I don't want to get kicked on my doctor. No, don't do it. I, I Dr. Was Dr. Moon is up there in, in orbit. Right. I think it's okay to acknowledge that in other pretenses, this could be the beginning of porn, but this currently is well, doctor. I watched a porn that and that started like this. Right. So then he's pushing the thumbs in. He's pushing the thumbs into the soft tissue and basically prying my jaw open. And he's taking breaks and he's going, are you okay? Are you okay? And he's prying, prying, prying. The terrifier? Pretty much. And he's like, your jaw will shift one way really easy. And the other way, it's so locked up. I can't even push it the other way. I mean, it's so bad. But he got it open a few more millimeters and I was able to eat this week and chew with like no clicking and popping and no major pain. And I'm seeing him again tomorrow and I'm so thrilled. I was like, do you think we'll be able to, after a few visits, do you think we'll be able to get it open? He was like, oh yeah. He, Mama, which Dr. was so comforting Mama, for Dr. Rebel, like, oh, Re- yeah. Rebel Moon, Dr. Rebel Moon. Yeah. But you know, Let's in other contexts, beautiful doctor, thumbs in my mouth, eye contact saying, we're going to open it up. I'm like, oh my God. I watched a pornographic film this morn. That involved a man putting his fingers in another man's mouth. And you know what happened. S-E-X. Thank you. Mm-hmm.